It's no question that uh, technology has become the new idol of society. From the dumbing down processes of social media to video games and uh, many other aimless forms of distracting technology. A great majority of these technological advances have seemed to make humanity take a step or two backwards in regards to uh, social communication, integrity, and emotional capacity. Though we can't seem to put them down and spend most of our waking hours in virtual worlds instead of living in the physical one. Through their celebrity mind control machine, hefty uh, advertisement campaigns, and mass media, technology in the past once used as a luxury or privilege has today become a living standard, a uh, fashion statement and glorified creation mandatory for existence. Not to say some of these technologies do not have advantages like uh, the internet or text messaging, yet it's the cancerous industries that have grown around them and the zombie nation that has emerged from the ooze. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Were John's words in vain? Can we not see the repercussions of denying these words? See, the word of God was designed to protect us from the ills of this world. And addiction has grown up and turned into a monster. And it's not the one in your closet. Or maybe it is or possibly under your bed. Addiction is in our minds, corrupting our spirits and fulfilling our flesh. Many are addicted to food. Um, they worship the delight of eating without realizing it. Why do you think they produce all these cooking shows? Competitive spirits and uh, bottomless stomachs. Consume Consume, consume. Or pornography. Possibly the biggest and most lucrative industry there is. No better way to destroy the family and precious intimacy between man and woman. Dissolving sex to a loveless activity between beasts. Luring the flesh. Baiting one into defiling their own body. Yes, pornography is the master baiter, a sickened nature where one chooses to have sex with themselves over their mate, or simply to relieve their lustful obsessions. The reprobate mind and society designed must fulfill the flesh first and foremost. They sell us the very rope in which we shall hang. Their industries, products, and technologies are designed to enslave you, to remain in bondage. So I guess the simple matter and uh, only relevant question is, whom will you serve?